at the Shell Experience. We're just arriving at the scene at the Shell Suite and upon arrival, we're being greeted by this. You made this mess and left me with the pieces. Now I wanna burn all the bridges between us. Uh, accreditation here, yeah. and then we get to receive this, which is like a big pouch from Shell. So here, guys, we have the startup pack from Shell, and it entails um, your Formula E ticket. It's a partnership guide, a taxi card, and then a brief of today's events, your different passes, and then. Um, uh, a power bank and it comes in a very nice pouch you get to see what's happening live from the shell suite so this is the shell suite but that's the track right there and what's so cool about it is it's actually happening in the city so you get to see um, the cars being driven on the streets it's, 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 it's not like a proper proper racetrack and this is like city racetrack okay the small come in <sighs> guys can you see what's going on this is just awesome all of you with ourselves on today. Uh, welcome on behalf of uh, Shell, New Motion and the other entities of our group. Welcome to Paris. As Shell, we are willing to provide more and cleaner energy solutions to our customers and to our partners. And as such, we do have uh, an entity at Shell that is called New Energies. Uh, you will see that within New Energies, uh, we have both the entity that's, that is around new fuels, so that's alternative fuels for today and tomorrow, meaning that's around hydrogen, so I think that we do have also some partners working with our hydrogen colleagues, that's about biofuels and electric mobility. And on the other side, we have like what we are calling power, that's all around electricity, wind, solar, uh, these types of activities. Um, we, we chose to go for a partnership with Nissan because that's, uh, that's part of the uh, broader alliance. And within the alliance, we do have two uh, main core front runners if you think about electric vehicle and e mobility, meaning that both Renault and Nissan uh, they have been active within that space for almost 10 years. So they do have already lots of experience. You made this mess and left me with the pieces Do the pit lane walk, you get to see the Nismo cars on the side before they actually go out to race. So this is all part of the Shell experience and man I'm loving it. I'm loving every single bit of it. If you're a proper car lover, proper motorsport person, you need to enjoy this experience. It's truly electrifying. You do a lot of vlogging. Yes, I do. I have a YouTube channel. So I do pretty much everything cars. So <laughs> I have an um, auto care center back home. Okay. It's called Purple Wheels. <laughs> yeah. So we do 
the customization, restoration, jobs on cars, from classic cars to supercars. We run something called a supercar clinic twice every year. So I bring in my partners from the UK and then we service and maintain high-end cars. So the Rolls Royces, Bentleys, Aston Martins, Ferraris, all, all those ones back home. Guys, this is a beautiful experience. We're just about to start the pit lane walk. And that's it. So we are at the Nissan stand now, which happens to be a host, a hosting stand. And that's the beauty over there. Understand now. Up close and personal with the car. This is as close as you can get. when to go fast, when to use energy consumption, when to use the attack mode. Uh, these are all critical elements and they play a variable in the race. So you'll see different teams use the attack mode at different times in the race. And that's, uh, that, is the, that is the game in terms of strategy for sure. I think Formula E is, is evolving much faster than we, we expected. Um, that's, that's, that's clear. I think that as we move forward, we'll see a continued trend of efficiency, but probably through a different mechanism, probably through uh, smaller cars or lighter cars um, with the same range, but more power. Today, the cars have a maximum potential of 250 kilowatts in, in uh, qualifying mode or in attack mode, um, but we race at 200 kilowatts. So I can see that number potentially going up, but with a smaller car, lighter weight, and getting more efficiency out of that battery, which makes the whole powertrain system and have to perform just a little bit better. Oh, well, Mike, thank you for your time, and uh, we wish you all the best. Of luck. Thank you. Thank you all. How do you differentiate yourself uh, from a uh, uh, car performance point of view? Yeah. I mean, there, there's there's a certain amount that is fixed uh, within the platform of the car. Yes. Um, what what makes the difference between Nissan and the rest of the teams? For, for us, what we, we feel we brought from season five is our history and our experience with electric cars on the road. So again, with seven years of experience building electric motors and, and especially management systems, people don't know, we were literally able to take some of the software that we were using in production cars directly into our race car. That's, okay. that's an advantage. Um, but on the technology, on the hardware side, let's say on motor development, it's again, We've been through a lot of advanced studies on how to make electric motors. Yeah. So for us, if you have uh, 20 variables, we've cut 10 out and said, let's focus on these 10. Okay, now let's focus on these three. That's where experience helps. Yeah. What would you say has been your biggest challenge so far? Biggest challenge? Um, that's, a, that's a good question because I think every day is a challenge. Uh, a, a bit the expectations. Really, uh, you know, we have, we place a high expectation on ourselves and this championship is so difficult that uh, to really be consistently at the top is not, is not easy. And um, 
that we want to be at the top. So I think managing expectations, working through these issues, finding solutions, implementing them, that's not easy. For me, it's actually my first time at this level of motorsports, so uh, how to manage that expectations, how to keep the team motivated, how to keep moving forward. Not different than what we do on a normal, in our jobs day to day, but in racing sometimes the pressure is a little bit different because you get one day to, to be right. I've been stuck on my memory But it's not like I need it And you may have some history But we don't have to repeat it You make this mess and let me pieces Now I'm gonna burn all the bridges between us Okay guys, so I'm back. I just got back to my hotel room. I still haven't gotten over the experience I've just had. It's a wonderful feeling. It's a beautiful experience, an awesome experience. Um, it's rather unfortunate the team I was supporting had a few challenges with their cars. One of the drivers crashed into um, a wall and made him lose a lot of time. And the other had a problem with his car. I think it was more technical than anything else. And so they didn't place well. But all in all, the experience has been breathtaking. I mean, there are no ways to explain it. It's I've been over the moon. I don't know if you guys have been following, but it's been I'm lost for words, let me just put it that way. You need to experience it to understand what, what it is. I mean, these are electric cars, so you're not getting the typical Formula One noise. You know, when it comes to the exhaust and all of that, and the braking and all of that, it's quite similar. The, the Formula E cars are not as quiet as you think they, they would be but um, everything else is the same everything else is pretty much the same I can't wait to experience a lot more of these races I haven't really experienced the Formula 1 race before I like to experience that as well so I can compare both and see what the difference is like but all in all, I'm really grateful to Shell Motorsports. I'm grateful to Nissan Nismo. I'm grateful to everybody on the team that, that has made this possible. And I'm looking forward to a lot more experiences. Guys, if you really want to experience more thrills like this, more content coming from me, please do well to subscribe, share, like and comment on my videos that's the only way it'll be it will make sense to have them invite me over to more of these events so that i can create a lot more content for you it's been a struggle for me because half of the time i really want to do this let me not say half of the time most of the time i want to but um i need all the push i can get i need all the encouragement i can get and trust me I've got plans to keep you well entertained. All I need is the push and the support. Thank you guys. On to my next event.